Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. The Bini Bini Filipina second runner up is Daniela Gabriel. Our Bini Bini Filipinas 2022 first runner up, Nicole Duda. Our Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International 2022 is Roberta Angela Tamanta. Our Bini Bini Filipinas Glow 2022 is Jessie Fernandez. Our Bini Bini Filipinas Intercontinental 2022 is Ariel Machado. Bini Bini Filipinas International 2022 Maraming salamat. What do we talk about? Boys! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a call from a boy after the contest? My life is pretty vanilla. It's pretty boring, Tita Boy. It's, this is, I mean, this is fantastic. But outside of this, I'm just my dog's mom. <laughs> Girls, is that it? Pag contest kasi, di ba, ang haba ng panahon, you prepare. As a kind of preparation kasi is both mental, Physical. spiritual, emotional, yes. lahat yan. Nasisira ba ang mga love life niyo? Well, I can't relate, Tito Boy. Dahil, <laughs> dahil, <laughs> Chelsea. Love life, no? Tito Boy, totoo yun. After I won, meron talaga mga nagme-message. Nasasyak ka na lang na parang, ha, oh, hindi nga ito nagme-message sa akin before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Time ko na yun. Raylene, pagdating sa love life, nakaka-apekto ba ang pageantry sa buhay pag-ibig? Kung kaya mo po kasing i-manage, kagaya ni Nicole, na talagang na-maintain po nila yung talagang kung sino sila nung nag-umpisa hanggang sa uli. Mm -hmm. Kagaya nga po nang sinabi ko kanina sa in last interview, piliin mo yung taong pipiliin ka. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nicole, I'm, I'm really happy with the boy. You are in a relationship. Yeah, we've been together for a long time. We were high school sweethearts. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. And, and he, to be honest, it was really just communication that was our issue. Because he's in Cebu and I was here in, during the competition. And when I'd be busy, I wouldn't reply as much. So he just really wanted to keep that communication updating mm -hmm. and calling, mm -hmm. right? Just to just to know that I'm okay. And that he's okay. And he is okay too. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not easy. Roberta, what yeah. is your story about boys? I don't have a boyfriend, Tito Boy. I'm not yet ready to have a boyfriend because that's my, that's my motto in life, just to focus more in career and focus on my family. That's what I really love doing right now. Mm. You, you're single? <laughs> Maybe yes. You are? It's a choice, Tito mm -hmm. Boy. Because naman um, gugustuhin ko lang, you know, kaya right. ko naman eh. What's keeping you from having a boyfriend? Who, tito boy? <laughs> I came from a very painful breakup. Oh. So, sabi ko, wag mo na. I think it is um, a revenge sa kanya. Quite interesting. I only am listening and I'm interested because it's not for us, but a lot of girls out there eavesdropping on this conversation and um, pain can actually be used to better your attitude mm -hmm. towards many things. Mm -hmm. To be yeah. better and be better. Mm -hmm. Be better and to yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you can do that to yourself, and then you can do a lot of good to others. Mm -hmm. Gabriel, ikaw. Um, Nasaan ang iyong puso ngayon? Ano po, Tito Boy? Um, I'm dating. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy na he's very supportive. And may intindihan niya yung schedule na meron ko Let's go to the Q&A. What was your experience like sa Q&A? Chelsea. Well, when I heard the question, Tito Boy, I told to myself, oh my God, my question was too long. And I got lost, Tito Boy. I don't know kung paano ko siya nasagot, Tito Boy. <laughs> kung paano lumabas yung answers ko that night. Masasabi ko lang, nakasagot ako. So that is the experience. Mm -hmm. Yung pagkatapos ng tanong, hindi mo alam, basta bahala na. Mm -hmm. That's a good experience, instinct. Mm -hmm. uh oh, history. Mm -hmm. Sayo, Gabriel. This year, hindi ko na sinagot yung questions ng mga naon na sa akin. <laughs> Kasi last year, sinasalot ko sila sa mind ko. So this year, good thing, uh, yung question din sa akin is free nash sa screen. 
So, hindi ko siya kailangan pakinggan masyado. Papasahin ko yun. It didn't happen to you? No, oh, okay, wow, okay. Yes, kasi po yung parang guest job. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yung question po, isa na flash sa screen while sinasabi niya. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi ko na po matanda na nakinig ako kasi mm-hmm. alam ko lang is binasa ko siya. Mm-hmm. Alright, and the question was? Parang meron pong intro na parang pageants or meron toxicity. The question of Miss Risa is about um, beauty pageants in general and how can it affect a beauty queen to fight fake news. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, fake news about yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and these are not easy questions. No, no. Mm-hmm. Who got that question about um, Marites and history? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got that. Uh, you so mga well. keywords, uh, but that was also a tough question. How do you answer that? Well. I said a historian is one who recognizes our painful past with factual evidence. Mm. Because I knew when I heard that question, it would be a, a wonderful opportunity for me to stand against revisionist history. Mm-hmm. Something that has run amok in our society, especially of late. So I knew that I was making a choice, mm-hmm. one that not everyone would be happy with. Pero kailangan ko pong manindigan dito, boy, because that was the reason I joined Pinipini Pilipinas to begin with was to reclaim the power of my voice. Mm-hmm. It's really tough because pag nini-nervous ka talaga at, at saka you are in uh, in an environment like a pageant na iiba talaga eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yeah. That's why I keep on saying you really have to do everything blank canvas ka talaga just listen. It's mm-hmm. just really you mm-hmm. and the question. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, right. wala. How was yours? My question was from Donnie and it went something along the lines of a rating, like how would you rate yourself as a responsible mm, okay. citizen? Mm-hmm. I'm still in school, I'm still studying and so there's so much I don't know. That's why I just gave myself a good eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't want to fail either, like we're not going to seven. I'm not perfect, I'm not going yeah. to give a ten. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Oh, Rebecca, what are you going to say? I can't remember, Tito Boy, to be honest, because I didn't hear exactly what the, no, 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 no. the, ju- the judge said. But I, I did hear about something about non-essential, but they cleared, up, they, cl- they cleared it afterwards that it was essential. And I answered, like in a personal, personal answer when it comes to my family and, and the, the relevance of the vintage telephone in our history and how it is important to us to recognize our history more. Mm-hmm. Non essentials. Non essential. But I, I read it. Is but it did it you realize, it? girls, how is important it? it is to perform an yeah, answer? Absolutely. Yeah. You really yeah. have to sound right. Yes. You have to yeah. really go for it. Yeah. I mean, sound strong. Absolutely. Yeah. And tune out the noise. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Because mm-hmm. the, the people laughed when they heard my question. <laughs> <laughs> they, they started cheering. Is that my when oh, they yeah. laugh, you react to the oh, laughter. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. But then I said, uh uh-uh, uh, the moment Joshua stops speaking, my time starts going. That's like when you're trying to buy time, time, when you're trying to buy time, when people cheer and when people laugh, right. of course you react to them, so you also smile mm-hmm. and you're, you're losing time. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. I'm losing time, so I just mm-hmm. kept going. Yeah. <laughs> pushing, pushing. Oh. I will be heard. <laughs> I will be heard. That's what happened Sobrang ingay ng last na... Oh, nagsisigawan. Mm-hmm. At saka, girls, I know you're going to go into another realm of pageantry because uh, four of you are going to international contests. Yes. Yes. So again, yun, use that experience mm-hmm. of, uh, the, uh, of how to handle noise, uh, that clutter. The journey is, how do you answer a question that you barely hear? Use that experience now. How do you answer a question that you barely understood and you just have to go for it, mm-hmm. right? go for it. Yeah. let's talk about the preparation very quickly how long did you prepare early three months because talagang pokpokan po ako mag training sa pasarela dahil hindi po ako ganun ka pero na bago yung lakad mo ha kasi talaga pong inaraw-araw ko pati po yung utak ko talagang Kung kaya ko i-flex, i-flex ko po, i-stretch ko hanggang kaya ko i-stretch. Mm-hmm. Tapos mm, kung paano po ako magsalita, kung, kung paano po ako nilos, kung paano po ako mag-approach ng tao. Kasi komedyante po ako at naiba po talaga yung pag-approach sa tao. 
yun po yung na-appreciate ko din. Kaya gusto ko din magpasalamat sa binibin ng Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Na nagkaroon po ako ng parang respect sa ibang tao. Kasi mm-hmm. kung pa, kumbaga parang dati, Uy, Ipon! Parang ganun lang. Ngayon parang tinatawag na nila ako, Hi, Miss Nicole! Mm-hmm. Parang para Ay, sa... Ay, hindi Herlene. Nicole ang tawag pa rin sa'yo. Kasi nung una... Herlene Nicole. Herlene oh. Nicole po. Kahit ano po, basta parang... Pero may miss na. Opo, parang mm-hmm. uh, makakatouch naman. Parang dating kalokohan nyo lang ngayon. Parang ang, ang, sarap, ang sarap pakinggan po sa pandinig bilang mm-hmm. nanggaling ka po sa baba. Sa preparasyon, Chelsea, ano yung hindi mo malilimutan? Hindi ko makakalimutan dito po yung walang naniniwala sa akin. Yes. Kasi actually hindi po talaga ako nag-totally prepare sa pasarela training, sa makeup training, I really focus on my communication skills or speaking skills. Kasi doon ako tinitira ng tao. Doon sila nawawala ng um, tiwala sa akin. So last 2019, I joined the national pageant. And people were rooting for me. They were really expecting me to win that title. And then I failed during the last um, question and answer portion. So nakaka-hurt lang kasi people would stick eh. Parang doon lang sila, um, doon lang nila ako gino-judge. Well, after that 2019 pageant, I joined two virtual pageants. And alam mo yun, parang pinutunayan ko na, magaling ako, matalino ako, I can answer all the questions. Pero hindi nila yung nakikita dito po. Nag-i-stick pa rin sila doon sa mistake na ginawa ko. Mm-hmm. So, now that I joined again, I hope naman na <laughs> kahit pa paano, tumigil na sila just support me especially now that I'm going to represent the Philippines. Or tumigil ka na sa kapapakinig sa kanila. Because you don't have control over mm-hmm. how people react to you. Yes. Mm-hmm. But you have control over how you react to them. Yeah, kito may parang medyo mahirap talaga. Mahirap. Mm-hmm. Training. Anong hindi mo malilimutan? Q&A training. Mm-hmm. Kasi last year, nag-pause po ako during the Q&A. So then? And then, doon na din ako, same story, mm-hmm. na parang doon na din ako ginudge ng tao. Mm-hmm. And last year kasi, I had so many shoots po. And this year, sinabi ko na huwag na tayo mag-focus muna sa shoots. Doon tayo sa ibang trainings na lang. And then people are telling me, you're not going to get a crown this year. This is not your year. Itong year? Yes. Umiiyak po ako dito po. Umiiyak po ako kasi parang, Shinong ko naman yung best ko from last year. And this year, um, limited din talaga yung resources. So hindi ko mabigay yung mga nabigay ko from last year. So I'm very thankful, lalo na po kayo coach ko sa inyo. Kasi nandiyan po kayo for me. Super hirap po ng journey ko this year, mentally. Kasi namin ginagigiwala. Tapos parang hindi ko naman kailangan i-improve. So, ang naging motivation ko is I'm going to prove it to myself na kaya ko. Mm-hmm. That's why nung coronation po talaga, nung 12, top 12 na, last po akong tinawag dito boy, <laughs> nakaganan po ako. Tapos sabi ko na lang talaga kay Lord, Lord, kung ano man yung ibigay mo sa akin tonight, hindi man ako pumasok, alam sa akin. Kasi alam ko kung binuhus ko lahat, ginapag ko yung journey ko, and alam ko ginawa ko lahat ng trainings. Pero nakakakaba yun, no? Yes, super po. Yung 11 ang doon na? Mm-hmm. Wala ka pa? Opo. Mm-hmm. Ako naman, ang question ko doon, anong karapatan meron ka sabihin niya sa kapwa? Mm-hmm. So, again, we, we write, we, when you are at the entrance of something really great, mm-hmm. that's when the devil comes in and says, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. But you have the power to say, yung sinasabi natin kanina na, you have the power to say, wait, wait. Okay. That, that's not the voice I need. Mm-hmm. Hindi dahil sa nag illusion ka. Hindi dahil sa nag illusion ka. Kasi alam mo, ang maganda at hindi para sa'yo. Mm-hmm. Alam ko, pinagdaanan mo yan eh. Yung, alam mo yun, yung talo ka na, hindi pa nga nag-uumpisa ang mm-hmm. contest according to them. Opo, kagaya nga po sinabi ko na yung mga sinasabi po nila sa akin na masasakit, na hindi ko kaya, Para po ako nakipag-asaran talaga sa kanila. Ay, hindi mo kaya. 
parang sa akin sasabihin ko sa sa kanila sa, para sa akin lang po kaya ko <laughs> kaya ko to parang minamalit mo ako lumalak ko tuloy ako parang ganun po yung sa akin in your journey what can't you forget the one defining moment for me Tito Boy was right before press presentation I mean that's a vulnerable place to be mm. we were all in swimsuits it was freezing backstage mm. Media was awaiting us on stage with hundreds of flashing lights and being bini bini when I was the first out. And I remember at least a dozen of my sisters, especially Chelsea, giving me a back hug, patting me on the back. God bless you. We love you. You got this. You're going to kill it. And that to me was the embodiment of sisterhood. That was the embodiment of women pulling each other up. Mm -hmm. There is enough room for everyone at the top. Shining a light on another woman doesn't mm -hmm. dim your own light. Yes. Mm -hmm. So having that experience, the feeling of true sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Everyone truly wants everyone to shine. Pero meron ba ikaw karanasan that there are girls who are just out there to put you down without having to name names. Mm -hmm. no? Pero are there mean girls in pageantry? Absolutely, the boy. We're not here to sugarcoat anything to, to whitewash our experience. Absolutely. How do you handle mean girls? You know, my mom just always says kill them with kindness. Always. Mm -hmm. Turn the other cheek. That's easier said than done. Absolutely easier said than But just a while ago, we were having this very conversation. It's just a matter of you've got to rise above the noise. Mm -hmm. You Plus. have to, but again, it's hard. Oh, difficult. Easier Mighty said than difficult. done. Mm -hmm. Did you hear comments like, but five five ka lang? Mm, absolutely. You know. So, tuwing nasasabihan ka, Stacy, na wala ka namang height eh. Anong ginagawa mo? I like to think that we're here, not as mannequins, not as a spectacle, mm -hmm. but as agents for change, as ambassadors of hope. Mm -hmm. And that's something I know I can bring to the table is my vulnerability is to bear my heart to my fellow Filipinos mm -hmm. and talk about OCD, talk about anxiety, talk about the harassment I experienced on set, talk about prison reform, and sort of spark these conversations, broaden the discussions that we have on topics that are stigmatized, mm -hmm. topics that we walk on eggshells around. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I always... I am more than my height. Absolutely. It's not about height, but about heart. And I come with a lot of heart. Roberta, your experience. My experience. Uh, during the, the journey, mm, I criticize myself a lot. I have body dysmorphia. When it comes to, to my entirety, my body, I always criticize myself. When does that happen? Pag nakakakita ka ng ibang girls o kung mag-isa ka? Social media. Oh my God. Social media. Kasi I can't deny the fact that I always use social media for one, posting every day when it comes to bini-bini uh, sponsorships. Mm -hmm. But when they commented on my posting, medyo tumaba ako, or sobrang payat ako, there's no in-between. Hindi yung sakto yung, hindi, wala silang sinasabing, maganda yung katawan mo. It may be too fat or too thin. And that made me, like have a body dysmorphia during the entirety of the competition and af like after that like I was questioning also myself because I was pressured so majority of the comments is that I lack communication skills and also and if I fail to bring home the crown in Binibining Pilipinas it would be a huge embarrassment not only for me but for my family so yeah I, I did cry that day just be just days before the lock-in in Binibini. Sabi ng mama ko, maniwala ka sa amin, anak. Mananalo ka. Kasi napakabait mong tao. Mabait kang tao, tinutulungan mo kami. Yung impact mo sa buong pamilya mo at saka sa mga tao naniniwala sa'yo, it will change once you win Binibini Pilipinas. And I did. And after that, the bashing didn't stop. After I won, Miss Ran, masabi nila sa akin, Old telephone, old telephone. Because that certain Q&A doesn't define a person. It never and will n never define a person from what they are. Kaya, no na comments nila sa akin about I lack communication skills up until now, I just move on and move forward. 
nag-interview kami, and I proved to myself that they're wrong. I, I, I stopped this limiting belief of myself that I can't do this, and I proved to them that I'm capable. Hey, yeah, I'm super grateful for my sisters because this is an ongoing issue that I have. I talk to 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 Nicole and Stacy about it, to how to deal with pressure and also stress. They they answer just just don't use your phone that much because it can can <laughs> it can really like messes up with your derail, head. Mm -hmm. derail. Messes up with your head. But you know, I'm just happy that I have my support system here and this is kind of this is the kind of sisterhood that I will never forget mm -hmm. and that it starts with you yes when everybody says you're not enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to have enough mm -hmm. it, it takes courage mm -hmm. to be able to say hey mm -hmm. who are you to tell me I'm not enough mm -hmm. I am enough I love the discussion about social media because even you girls who are some of the most beautiful girls in mm -hmm. this country go through this. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine girls out there yeah. who are struggling, who are being bullied? It's all right. It's normal to feel vulnerable at some times. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Because when you're vulnerable, when you start to cry, after the crying, fight back. Yes. But yes. one of the strongest ways to, uh, to, to fight to fight bashing and harsh, malicious criticism, mm -hmm. gratitude. You know, negativity cannot survive a grateful mind. Oh, I love that. Totoo. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful. Mm -hmm. Just be thankful. Hindi. Mm -hmm. Asaka, that self-talk is very important. Mm -hmm. your, your story, Nicole. Well, preparation started around March, and it was thankfully with the encouragement of people at home, my management. I, I was really well equipped with the right You have this local management, the right? Na mm, origin, yeah, shout out. Right, <laughs> right. Okay, and yeah. marami na kayong nanalo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, the same, it's the same management that had Bea, Tracy, mm -hmm. they're Miss Universe and Miss World, and right. Gazzini. Mm -hmm. It's so great to be surrounded by people who have been there. Pero pressure din. I, yeah. like, I don't like to look at it like that. I like to think like, That's I have cool. an opportunity. Because it can't be that. Like, these are all winners. Where am I going to be? Wala kang ganon. No, not oh, at all. Good. I mean, Aww. I don't want to look at it like that. Yeah. Wonderful. So many people would love to be in my shoes. Mm -hmm. I have a blessing. <laughs> yes. Girls, you had no problems about pera. Sana kukukuha para sa gown ko, para sa Aww. national costume. Yeah. Yeah. It is one of the struggles. Because people it's think it's inexpensive. It is. It, it can is. cost you a lot. No? Mm -hmm. Let's start with makeup. Makeup is expensive. Makeup mm -hmm. artists. Stylists. Asaka, what, what makeup? You, you train, right? Yeah, we train for we makeup. Train. Hair and makeup. Mm -mm. Why do you train for hair and makeup? Because you don't do it yourself during the pageant? Or there's some, some, mm -hmm. there's some days that we are to do our own makeup and okay. hair. Rehearsals. But it's also a preparation for us for the international yeah. international mm -hmm. pageants mm -hmm. because we can't all all the time be with our glam teams. So we need to be uh, to right. learn. So you, you you buy your own makeup. We buy our and own. And that's makeup. expensive. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yes. expensive. Yes. Uh oh, that was anupa. Styling. So every day, mm -hmm. Dita boy, it's a different outfit, it's a different ensemble. Mm -hmm. That costs money. Styling costs money. Mm -hmm. Our national costume. Ano yun? Do you own the clothes? Pinapahiram o bidi bilin mo? Pinapahiram po. We have a stylist who pulls out like. But the style, stylists get paid. Yes. These are yes. professionals. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. So mm. ibig sabihin, uh, habang nagtitrain ka sa pasarela, nagtitrain ka sa Q and A, uh, lahat iniisip po parin yung pera. pera. Yes. How did you survive that? Well, I'm just um, fortunate enough, Tito Boy, kasi meron mga sponsors and meron din ako sister. Sobrang grabe mag-alaga at grabe gumastos. She even paid for my gown, my national costume, and even my makeup. And yeah. uh, oh, sobrang sweet lang. Pero, Tito Boy, makakahiya din. Kasi kahit hindi niya sabihin, na love and dami ko ng gasto sa'yo. Pero siyempre nag-i-expect din yun na 
I hear you. Totoo yun. Yung kahit, lalo na yung hindi nagbibilang na nagbibigay. Okay. Uh-huh. Diba? Yung kapatid mo yun. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kapatid mo yun. Pero alam mo, sobra na. Your experiences with money. I am so happy I have savings. <laughs> and my, yes. my, my grandparents, they actually have a condo in the area. Not in Cubao, but like close by. And they allowed me to stay there throughout the journey without any rent. So I can only imagine how it must have been like for people, right. especially those who mm-hmm. are working. You have to rent to a, a their place jobs. close to the Coliseum, right? Yeah. Because it's more expensive. Yung transportation. Yeah. 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 Um, when I started joining pageantry, my parents always paid for all of my expenses, gowns, makeup artists, but right now, I'm super grateful to have one of my sponsors and also my, my city giving me solicitation money for my expense in Binibini. And the problem is... Sorry, my name is Lala. The people who are in the league should contribute. That's why they should contribute to the people who are in the league. That's what I said. There's this group of guys... This happened, man. ...who started to message you. Yeah. Joe Cream. Stacey, come. For me, Tito Boy, I was definitely inspired by the bayanihan that was shown on me by my LGU. What is this bayanito? Kainta. Wow. Oh, oh, dito. My, my congressman specifically, shout out, Kong. <laughs> Kong. Duavit. Okay. Right. He was, was, was wonderful and as well, I mean, I have mga nino, mga nina. So I have about 50 godparents. So they all chipped in in order to help me become. Oh, yes. you are queen. Aww. No, but I, I, I love the idea that. Uh, local public servants are now helping pageantry. Absolutely. Because Gabriel, without my knowledge, was being supported by my sister, who's also a congresswoman. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's Uh-oh. wonderful. Even before, no? Even, yes, even oh. before. Even before. Mana was, Mana was very supportive of, of her. I wish you the best. So, Herlene, I know that you haven't made a decision yet. Have you decided if you want to join again Woo! next year? <coughs> Hindi na. Hindi na. Talaga, bakit? Contento na po ako, Tito. Happy na po ako sa kung ano po meron yung ulo ko ngayon at yung puso ko ngayon. At yung respect ko na natanggap ko sa ibang tao. Kasi sobrang... Humakot ka naman kasi ng special awards. Kumukayag ko sa nakakahiyang gastos ni Sir Victor. Para ka naman din nanalo na doon. Anin ba? Pito? Seven. Seven special awards. But Herlene, if you change your mind, kami bilang tagahana, bilang audience, we will always be ready for you, again. In God's will. And in God's time, mm-hmm. right? Chelsea. I just hope though that I would win this year because mm-hmm. I really want to retire now in pageantry. 
I'm already 23 years old and I want to move forward and have my own business someday. You will get the crown, just pay me. Amen. 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 And my different interviews that you were my lucky charm in 2015 because that was my first ever crown, And that was my first ever crown. Wow. And you were the one who asked me the question. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, I, I'm, I'm really proud to be part of the journey, your journey, and the journeys of many queens. Mm -hmm. Gabriel. I just want to say thank you to everyone that uh, supports us and along the journey because this year, because it's been tough, mm -hmm. but with, with their help, I can do it, and this wouldn't be possible without all of you. And aside from that, po. Nagiging thankful din po ako dun sa mga nabas, mga nag-comment sa akin. Kasi naging motivation ko po siya to work hard para makuha yung crown this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this time, idodoble ko pa yung hard work ko to get that back-to-back -back crown for Miss Intercontinental. Yes! Mm -hmm. Alam mo ba, si Gabriel, ang first national beauty queen namin ng Boronga. Ng Boronga. Oh. First. Mm -hmm. Wow. History. So you're not just making me proud as a mentor, but you're making me proud as a boronganod, as a warai. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much. What do you want to say, Stacy? Ako po tito. I just feel so grateful to be here. My first ever pageant. And I was able to hold my own against these incredible, incredible queens. It feels surreal. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to what this year has in store, mm -hmm. to partnering with my LGU and Mind Nation, which is a well-being organization that I've collaborated mm -hmm. with in order to make strides towards mm -hmm. destigmatizing and democratizing mental health care. That is my true north, and that is where my, my focus will be for this, mm -hmm. for this year. Your message. Me, I just want to say thank you to my family and also to my supporters who believed in me when the times that I don't even believe in myself. And I'm going to really work hard for me, for us, to get that first ever golden crown in Miss Grand International. I'm going to promise it. I'm going to work very, very hard to make all of you proud, all of the Filipino community, to be proud. Beating Filipinas International. Always gotta be thankful. I'm, th I'm thankful for my family, my supporters, my Nick Nuggets, <laughs> my, my my management, my sponsors, and of course you guys. Mm -hmm. Right? I I've said it before. I wouldn't have been able to go through this whole thing if it wasn't for Beanie Beanie to the Beanas. It's a bit of whirlwind, and I'll be there to cheer you guys on since you are the first to go. <laughs> I'll be with you. Yeah, you will be joining next year. Yeah. Because Hannah will be joining this, this December. Year. Right. Hopefully, I'll be get I'll get to see her in person yes. when she competes. Who knows? Yeah. And I'll I'll be focusing on improving myself in the next year, mm -hmm. so that I can get a back to back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's this a wonderful poem by Maya Angelou called oh. "Phenomenal Woman." I think when um, the legendary Angelo was writing the poem, she had you girls in mind. Oh, thank you. You are just phenomenal. And thank you. Oh, thank you, Queens. Thank you, Kitaboy. Thank you. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below. And you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking.